What's, What's happening, happening fandoms? fandoms? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we react to music videos and shows. Today we're going back to Echo. This is the last episode. Oh, yeah. Five is titled Maya. And the episode titles, now that we've witnessed the first four of them, seem to be stepping forward in ancestry. The very first one was the oldest ancestor. Then we moved forward and forward yeah. and forward. We got her mom last episode, and Maya is the last link in the chain yeah. of the that Choctaw was, ancestry. The last episode was so intense, I could barely move. Oh my yeah. goodness. Big, big surprise that Wilson Fisk came not seeking retribution for her attempting to kill him, but attempting to reconcile wanting to bring her home and give her his empire because i think he knows that she's quite powerful uh, absolutely he knows that mm -hmm. she's worked for him for years, years and done his dirty work for a very long time it would be far better to have her as an ally than an enemy right but it was very surprising to me that he would have spent months in a coma or whatever and then wake up to say I love you. I forgive you. It's all you can fine. Get, you can get my whole, whole empire just moved to, L, to, you know, New York. Yeah, exactly. So it does not seem like that's the direction Maya is headed um, as she leaves town on her motorcycle instead of getting on a plane with, with Kingpin. Um, we'll see. Let's find out how this thing wraps up. I hope there's a good payoff for all of these threads that they've accumulated. I just hope she she talks, she talks, knows more of our ancestry or probably finds something for herself. Yeah, we'll have to see what they do. Yeah, here we, here go. we go. If you'd like to see full-length versions of this episode and all of our other shows, they're available on our Patreon. The link is below. The first episode of every season is available for free to watch on our Patreon. Thank you. Sorry, Mr. Fisk. We tailed her, but she's gone. <sighs> hmm. There we go. She's searching for herself. Dang. Different be beginning this time. What is that wood tapping? A woodpecker? Oh, is that woodpecker bird? Ah. This is another flashback. Oh. Oh, she killed it. Well, that's a bad sign. Hmm. Wow. Mmm, that's horrible. Come on, stop taking us to this moment. And here we are back in Tahama? Grandma. You're not close. You're napping, you old billy goat. Hurry on out here. I have to get to work. Chola. Radiant as the sun shining out of no, my... No, hush. I'm here. What? <laughs> oh? Oh, what can I do you for? Yeah, I didn't put it up for sale. Why? Because I know you'll come back. Oh, when you brought it in, I cleaned it and Oiled it, put a uh, nice blanket on it. <laughs> I knew you'd come back for See? it. See? <laughs> yep, Grandpa Scully is still smitten. I wish I was you. Nothing. Just... Please, let me help. Oh, you. geez. Oh, I haven't seen you around before. Are you here for the powwow? She doesn't know who he yes, is. You can say that. It's a good thing you got here early. I didn't realize there'd be so many people. Oh, there always are. People come from all over for our Choctaw Nation powwows. Is that right? Well, tell me about her. Her name's Maya. 
She's come in from New York. That is not a good sign. He's gonna just take her. Because he wants what he wants. Okay. She just got rid of that ridiculously high tech <laughs> contact hey, lens, huh? Hey. Uh, sorry, guys. This here is a uh, vendor parking, actually. Um, right over there is general parking with uh, Roger Two Moons. If you yeah. just hit up. So uh, I'm going to pack up down by there so I can enjoy your indigenous fare from afar. Yeah. I got kidnapped. She's got to go back. Oh, she's looking at that suit of armor that they... Grandma I'm did. betting that's what she's staring... No! That's her mom. Is it? Yeah. Was her mom here? That's why she names Echo. We echo through you. Wow. Now it's time for the pain to go away. Wow. Oh. Wow. Ooh. Go wear it. Put it on. I want to see. I think she's going to fight at that thing. This guy's going to. Uh, yep, he is going to be a problem. With our disband problems trouble. too. Those bands are full of trouble. Oh man. I wonder what we can expect there. Oh, she's there. Oh, yeah. She has mixed in. This is so intense. I know. Yeah, he's gonna be up there with a sniper rifle, I bet. There's way too many bad guys with guns. Some people are gonna get hurt. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Do you have 
gun or a weapon. A weapon? Oh. I got something even better. What does he have that's better? <laughs> what are you talking about, biscuits? Not today, Naholos. Not today. She's following that bird. The bird landed on this building. Mm hmm. She's listening to her ancestors. Those are the two people she loves. They have, yeah. They have Bonnie, they have Because I know she was, he was talk, taking, you know, when they were talking, he took a, that picture frame to see who she loves. Mm-hmm. Oh, now they're, he's making Bonnie translate for him. Getting her viewpoint, her audio point. Whoa, come on. Like I killed your father. Yeah. Oh my god, that's worse than a sniper. That's an RPG. What the hell is he doing? No. Oh my gosh, it gives me goosebumps. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait, what? There's a healer there too. Oh, he's back in when he was a child. Yeah. What are we doing? I am not who you want me to be. What? Biscuits just killed like 20 people. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that's so intense. And that's it? I don't know. Oh my god, my heart pounds. This is going to jail. Get a little, little bit of a denouement here. Uh, it's just reflecting back. I love this native music. Oh. 
Now this is a heartwarming reunion. Very cool. That they would. Uh, oh, oops, there's, there's a post credit scene, but it's it's really neat that Marvel collaborated with the actual Choctaw yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a heartwarming story about her finding her strength back and being with her family. That was nice. Yeah, that really got me. Got me good. All right, let's see what our post credit scene is. Here we go. It's probably going to set us up for Daredevil. Okay, here we are. There are legitimate problems in the city right now, and the voters want somebody who understands the pain they're going through, who understands the frustration. Mm. Who he's going to run for? Exactly why right. a bare yes. brawler would do well in this race, an outsider, somebody who is not afraid to take on the establishment. But wouldn't that candidate have emerged by now? That's the, the question that remains for so many people. Here he is. is. That candidate even out there? There's no oh. doubt it is late in the process, but there's still a window of opportunity. That's what the poll is telling us is could be anybody's race. Yep. Well, it seems like uh, perhaps when we get to the Marvel show Daredevil, mm -hmm. Kingpin may be mayor yeah. of New York at that time. Very interesting. And I bet you she's going to cameo probably there. I, it would not surprise me at all if Echo had some part in the Daredevil mm -hmm. show. You are right. Wow. Um, uh, just interesting. The 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 ancestry thing did did pay off. I I feel like they did a fairly good job of building up mm -hmm. to that moment. Yeah. Without overdoing it. Right. And then the fact that she she seized her power and also used her power through her grandma and her cousin. Yeah. She she imbued them with that power as right. well to, uh, to make it so they all worked together. How many was that? Five? From the, the there were there were five of them total yeah. standing there with yeah. at, you know Maya and the other four yeah. and her and then, her and mom then her grandma and her her mom her mom um, was there her mom was one of the five yeah yeah uh, so just like we saw the episode titles leading us that mm -hmm. direction right the five ancestors with Maya being the last link yeah. in that ancestry chain yeah it's pretty cool that yeah it. It was, it was, I'm really glad that we didn't have a bloodbath. At the end. At the end. I was so worried that we were going to see was, a whole bunch of innocent people slaughtered by all those so gunmen. so intense. <laughs> but we managed to have Biscuits make it a big part mm -hmm. in that final, and with his monster truck that he put together, I guess. Yeah. From the junkyard. Okay, I, I'm with it. That's that's conceivable. Yeah. It's not too much of a grasp. And, and then, then her uncle found the, you know, the shooter. Yeah. And that would cost a lot of. Uncle Henry. Uncle Henry came in clutch as well, because yeah. one RPG in the middle of all of those dancers would have been just un unthinkable. Yeah. So it did come to a big conclusion. It's, it is a little odd that we would see Maya and Kingpin's backstory interacting in that way. Right. Not quite sure what it was that we're meant to think she did to him. Maybe well, tried to absolve him of some of his guilt or pain. Yeah, he was trying to help heal him, but because of 
gone through so much already. I don't know. Not, if he's know gonna... that, yeah, I don't know that he's redeemable or healable, mm -hmm. right? Like, I don't, I'm not certain that that's a possible thing. She asked her, What did you do to me? Right. But, but that just means that he doesn't know any more than we do, mm -hmm. right? And perhaps that's something that will get explored later on in later shows or something. But it is sort of a, an, a loose thread from this right. narrative that they didn't close up. We don't know what happened to him. We don't know. Yeah. Well, um, but we'll see. It, Hopefully there's another episode. It'll be yeah. nice. Clearly, Kingpin needed to survive this little mini series mm -hmm. because he takes a major role in in the Daredevil show that's right. coming, and so he, we couldn't have him get killed. That yeah. was not a possibility. But oh, um, I think I think they stuck the landing pretty good. Yeah, I, I felt like the payoff with the ancestor powers was was good. The her wearing the armor. Yeah, brought the well, whole... Not really armor. Maybe it is armor. I don't know. It's kind of like a, a combination armor, ceremonial... Costumes. Costume kind of thing. Maybe that's her costume in the future. Like, you know, Daredevil had his own. Yeah. Hawkeye had his own. So they're going to do something for her. Well, sure. Yeah, she she needs to have and something. And Grandpa gave her the... On her, you know, her new legs... That didn't show up yet. Yeah, we haven't. Yeah, we still haven't seen that new leg. That's true. That's another pretty significant thread that leads us down a path where we're going to see her again. Yeah. yeah so Grandpa. Perhaps in Daredevil. Yeah. yeah. Grandpa gave her that. You know, that was just like a hmm. Well, how come she's not using that yet? Yeah, and that's another touchstone on the whole ancestry providing her I, power. I thought right? she was going to use it on this last episode. Yeah, me but too. But. Yeah. So not only does she gain some sort of mystical or, you know, cosmic powers from her ancestry, she's also gaining like technological mm -hmm. and other help. Her grandma yeah. sewed her costume. Her grandpa made her leg, you know, like there's all these things that are coming that together for, to her. for her family to have built her into what she is, yeah. which is very cool yeah. and the whole um tying her name into the 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 concept of generational echoing, echoing. yeah that was a good writing skills there yeah it makes me think that this must have been her origin story in the comics all along probably i think that the echo they echo through you yeah just hold on to your family echoes through time yeah. very very powerful concept yeah well, thank you again for turning to our show channel. We really appreciate you. Thank you for liking our videos, to get the algorithm going. Thank you for subscribing to our Small Mighty channel to help us grow. Thank you again and see, see you in the, the next, next video. video.